welcome to Student Leadership News. I am Emmanuel Hernandez. I would like to acknowledge that February is Black History Month. Black History Month was founded by Carter G. Woodson, according to a shared article on USA Today by Nadea Yancey Bragg. Woodson recognized that the American education offered very little exposure to the accomplishments of African Americans. So he founded the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. In 1926, Woodsman proposed that the nation dedicate a week to shine light on black heritage and culture. In 1976, President Ford expanded the week into a month in which now we recognize as Black History Month. Woodson believed that it is necessary to expose young African American and everyone really to the accomplishments of the black community to spark inspiration. With that said, leadership will attempt to learn how to best acknowledge and celebrate black history through our student news. Therefore, we invite anyone in the community to share ideas on how to properly do so. Thank you. Up next, we have Melissa with Valentine Grams and staff and student birthdays. Thank you, Mama. Today, we have a new event. This event is called the Yoka Community SWPBS Dragon Challenge. SWPBS means School-Wide Positive Behavior Support. The Dragon Challenge will have one new goal every month. Here's an example. For the month of January, the skiller goal could be improvement in social skills. The way this will work is if a teacher notices a student expressing that month's topic, the teacher will write down their name on a piece of paper and at the end of the month, Mr. Gavon will be holding a raffle prize and whoever's name he pulls will win a prize. This month, we are working on improvement and goal seven. Next is Talent Show. We are still taking Talent Show videos until March 12th, so keep up the good work and show off your skills. You can send your videos directly to Mr. Gutierrez in Schoology. Thank you for all the Valentine Graham submissions. Our Google form has already closed. Unfortunately, we got some submissions without last names, so we did not know who to send them to. Other than that, please expect your grams to be received Friday, February 12th. Because we received over 120, please give us some time to deliver, possibly over the weekend. Thank you to all the people that have submitted pictures of you or your pet. And if you still haven't submitted a pic to the yearbook, you still have a chance. All yearbook followers are due by February 12th. Now we have staff and student birthdays. For staff birthdays this week are Mr. Thomas, February 8th, and Miss Yolanda Valdez, February 12th. Now we have student birthdays. Happy birthday to all the following students. All of us at Leadership hope you had an awesome day. Back to you, Thank you, Melissa. And wow, that so many people are participating in the Valentine Gram and so many people are also submitting videos for the talent show. There's a lot of positivity in our community coming to light. Up next, we have Haiti, who's going to tell us about club updates and how to complete your teacher's award survey. Take a minute. Our clubs are officially now running. To join our group, simply go to the group section and enter the code. Last week, French Club learned how Valentine's Day is celebrated in France. Join French Club this week as they will be doing a Valentine's Day themed scavenger hunt. To clarify, you do not need to be in a French class or speak French to join the French Club. Anyone is welcome to join the French Club, especially if you are interested in learning about the French culture and language. Even though SRLA is not meeting, you all should be running so that you stay in shape and ready by the time you return to practice with your team. That includes the alumni that are watching this and are also in SRLA. Here is this week's Art Hall of Fame. Bookworm Buddies Club read Ordeal in Levittown in celebration of Black History Month during Bookworm Buddies yesterday. 
or Dion Levitown is about a newlywed couple overcomes the anti-African American sentiment in the community of Levitown. The story documents the mayor's resistance against racist and segregationist force that tried to push them out of their new home. Although Levitown was a place where African Americans were not wanted, the mayors endured and showed their resilience and the power of will to combat racism. Living in Levitown was their form to protest. Reminder, if you have not already done the teacher award survey in advisory class, please complete it as soon as possible to support our yearbook team. Each grade level has their own survey to complete. That's it for me, back to you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Katie. And I hope all of you have learned something from the clubs. And I hope all of you are able to complete the teacher award survey. Up next, we have Kyan, who's going to tell us about school-wide announcements. According to our sources, the Yoka campus is now open with minimal staff to keep people safe. If you have any urgent matters, you may now visit the school to get help in person. Please call ahead of time to confirm. Yoka ID and yearbook pictures will be taken at Yoka in late February for all staff and students who wish to have their picture taken in person by Photorama. There will also be an option to take a selfie and submit it to Photorama as well. Information will go out next week for the on-campus days. Photos will be taken by grade level by way of a drive-by style where parents of students will park on shadow and students will take their pictures just inside the main gate. Staff members can also take their pictures here as well. Dates and times will be provided next week. Continue to push yourself and take responsibility for mistakes in the past. Come to Yoka's Ingenuity Saturday Inter Interventions from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Over 30 students have completed Ingenuity courses that qualify for a possible grade change. Starting February 15th, teachers will be sent an Ingenuity course grade report for students who have completed a course. Teachers have the option of grading to a grade change from an F to a D, or better grade if they choose. If the teacher feels like they do not meet minimum mastery, the students will be kept the F, but Yoko will give the students a course past grade and apply five credits to make up for the fail. Leadership encourages you to ask for help and Yoko's staff is making it easy for you. Remember, every teacher has 30 minutes of office power per day. Be whole group uh, tutoring from Tuesday to Thursday from 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. One-on-one -on -one tutoring will begin again for those who work better in a smaller setting. This will begin possibly late February. And that's for me, back to you, Mano. Thank you, Kyan. And it's cool to see that we're still making things happen even in the virtual world, which reminds me. I would like to give a shout out to all the staff that helped our yoga community. Ms. Hodilia, Ms. Nancy Penaran, Ms. Zapata, and Officer Saldana. Thank you for all the things you have contributed to our yoga community. And here at Leadership, we thank you. And that is all for today. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Hello there, Yoka Dragons. This is Mr. Gutierrez speaking. Today, I actually have a story for you to start off. Carolina was getting home from the tiendita. She remembered she had $1,440 in her pocket. She was scared to have lost some money, so she went inside to count it. As she was counting her money, she was thinking of the many ways she could spend it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what I can use this money for, she said. But when she was finishing up, she noticed she lost $5. 1,432, 1,433, 1,434 and 1,435. Wait a minute, I lost $5, she said. She was upset. She was sad, mad, angry. She lost it and thought just one thing to do with the rest of the money. She grabbed all $1,435 that she had left over and threw them straight into the trash. Why? That's probably what you're thinking. Why? Why would you throw $1,435 away just because you lost $5. You see, there's 24 hours in a day. Each hour has 60 minutes. So if we multiply 24 hours by 60 minutes, we have 1,440 minutes in a day. So I ask you the same question. 
why is it that when we have something inconvenient that happens in our life, like maybe we spill something on ourselves or we wear two different shoes to go out or maybe we get a different order and they put pickles in our burger. We allow that incident to take the rest of the 1,435 minutes away. And we say we had a bad day. And we throw that time away instead of really understanding that where we are right now at this very moment is the best place to be because who knows what the next day is going to bring so it's important that although something inconvenient happens we acknowledge it we feel for it but we appreciate everything else we have around it and we allow this day to be a positive day instead of dawning down on the negative part of those five minutes and throwing the rest of the day and know that today may or may not be a good day for you but may the future days hold something positive for you. May you continue to push yourself and be better. There's always going to be trials. But when things are going good, it's easy to have a good time. What really matters is who you are during these trials. Are you someone who is going to give up? Or are you someone who is going to continue to fight and show the world that you are the strongest version of yourself and will get up? and dust yourself off, no matter how hard you've been hit, you will always stand up. So may you take this message this week and continue to be the best version of yourself. Have a great week.